Hey guys, today we're going to be unboxing our latest um, game. This one is called Charterstone and it is a village building legacy game. So because of that, if you do not want to know what is inside the box, don't watch the video. But um, us, whenever we were purchasing it, we just really wanted to know, well, what is inside? You know, um, the back does not really give you anything to go on because um, from what we understand, spoiler ahead guys, um, is that you are building the board game as you go. So you're literally building the map based on decisions you make. But um, from what we do know um, from the box, it all it says is that it's gonna contain a rule book, it's gonna contain um, engine building elements, um, it's going to have a branching storyline and there's going to be a secret compartment found in only um, found in only one other board game. I'm not sure what that means. And then it says um, 75 plus crates to unlock 350 unique cards, 230 wooden tokens, and 36 metal coins. So when we open up the box, guys, we're not going to... Um, open up crates that like you're not supposed to open up, you know, but we are going to let you see what it actually looks like inside. So maybe you have a better idea of what it is that you're getting. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and crack into, I will say this though, based on the artwork, it's really what uh, drew me to the game because it's a little bit steampunkish with like the little um, Zeppelin here, but then the houses are interesting. Like this one looks like a basket. And then up in the clouds here, you actually have like floating islands. So there's, I don't know if these things are elements of the game, but I sure hope they are. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get into this. Um, this game is made by Stonemaker Games. So I don't think we have any other games by them that I know of. If we do, I'm not aware of it. Yeah. I also will note the on, like the, what's the word, on. The cloud up here that looks a little bit scary. What sort I'm looking for, babe? Ominousness. Um, no. no, that's not it. No. The. It's one of those words that like you I can have say a... any day until you're asked to remember what it is. Yeah, I can't say anyway. a lot of words. It also sort of seems to. I don't know. There's like some stone edges and stuff. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like open up. Let's see. All right, so we have the chronicle is what this piece is called. And it says, please read this page before looking at anything else in the box. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pause real quick for a moment just so we can read this before we know anything else. And we'll give you the highlights. Okay guys, so after reading, um, one thing is I found out that it's actually not called Stone Maker, it's called Stone, what was it, Mayor? Let's see, Meyer? where's the word? Meyer. Yeah, it says Stone Meyer Games. It was hard to read in that little font. Anywho, um, looking at the Chronicle, like it asked us to, um, basically we need to know not to open up anything, but we do need to look inside the index box. So um, I'm going to put this up here. This says um, Automa. I believe it. What is this? I'm sure it's more instructions for more other instructions things. More instructions set up. Index guide. Index guide. And then like then a we card have holder. This sorts. right here. Don't know what that is, but it's some type of cardboard. <laughs> it's made of cardboard, but it's a board for the cards to go on, I'm assuming. And then this one has a different symbol and also has some. Okay, this right here is the game board. So <coughs> we're just gonna go ahead and pop this open and see what it looks like. Obviously, we'd be allowed to look at the game board. The game board, though, as I understand, is going to change. Hello. It's two-sided, apparently. Two-sided game board, okay. I'm trying to see, okay, this is in German. Is this German? Is this another <laughs> language, or am I just crazy? Just calm down. Treasury, market, grandstand. Yeah, this is English. And what's that? That's the guidepost. Oh, well, it looks like another language upside down. Okay. 
All right, I'm so just... let's flip it over. Okay. I'll give you all a closer look at that, though, in the center at least. And we'll see what the other side, if there's any difference or anything like that. Um, okay. There's also some details down here at the bottom. It says progress. All right, so this side. Um, right off the bat, I'm not noticing any, it's, any it's, differences. It's, it's same the thing. same thing from what I'm seeing. But that might be on purpose. So yeah. you can have two different campaigns at the same time. Yeah, that could be what it's for. But anyway, that is our game board. So I'm just going to let it, let it be sit. right here for a second while we bring the box back over so y'all can see what it looks like. So we are not supposed to, Oh, my goodness. It is still so heavy. Um, well, it's got metal pieces in it. Oh, does it? Well, you read it. It said wood. It said wood and metal. Oh, well, no wonder. So, these say character chest on each of them. This one says archive. Then we have one exclamation point. I think that box could potentially be upside down. It's an it's an eye. It's supposed to be an eye. So, I think it's just upside yeah, down. Yeah, it's Roman numerals. And then there's a two, a three, and a four. Up here's the index. So, they did tell us to look at that. And then, um, sub Scriptorium. S scriptorium. Okay. Don't so, quite know what that means. But <laughs> I okay. will go ahead <laughs> and open up the index, like it said. Um, this this is where that weight is. Oh my goodness! All At right. least a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big difference. Let's see. Um, it's a nice box. It is. It's, it's like got like a little magnet thing. Um, all we're supposed to do that is take this take this stuff out of the plastic. Um. Read through that again as I'm doing it. But you're not supposed to look at any of the cards. You read the Chronicle, right? Yeah. Okay. It said, do So, not look inside the index uh, tucked box. Remove the shrink wrap from each deck of cards and put the decks back in the index. Do not look through the cards and do not shuffle them. They should be in numerical order as noted by the number in each bottom right of the card at the beginning of the deck. There are gaps between certain types of cards for production reasons. That's normal. If any of the decks look identical, please let us know. Okay. Yeah, that was one thing that it said a few times was that um, basically they, uh, if there's anything wrong, they'll let, you know, they'll fix it. So um, that's good. That's, that's, good on, that's good on them because... I mean, there was a comment a couple of days ago on one of our other game uh, posts saying that theirs came with a... Without something. a rule book, I think. It yeah, was, didn't have a rule book, that's what they said. No, it was the rule card for uh, um, for the game. Oh, um, okay. that I believe it was Cartoon Network Flux, and I was just like, well, you know, you need to email the company, you know, they'll make it right. Presuming they want to keep you as a customer, but you know this is what the uh, the rule says. This is what the card says. So the backs of the cards I'm opening up right now, by the way, have the same cut or the same um, symbol as that. Bring it over here, babe. That one, yeah. As this board, so I'm sure that those go together in some way. And they're going in numerical order. And so far, none of them have been repeats. So, uh, see, I'm just sort of looking at that first little card that goes in. I'm not reading it or anything because I don't want to... Don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it, you know? <laughs> I mean, like I said, I have no, no real concept of what this game is really about. Um, okay, now we're on a new symbol. Um, I sort of wish there was a little divider in here, but... It, it might all be by design. Yeah, that could be. And this is the easiest way in which, it's like, look, this, uh, this didn't work right. Okay, we know which batch of cards to send them. Yeah. That kind of thing. There's a lot of cellophane now. I'm telling you, there's a lot of cards, there's a lot of cellophane. Yeah. And... This looks like one of those where we're going to post and then, like, 
over spring break or even early summer, we'll actually start getting into. I don't know. I, I could see us possibly getting into it before then. But um, eventually, I'm sure we will post from it. You know, we will post what our campaign is looking like. And obviously, that would be a complete spoiler. But at the same time, I feel like before you buy a game, you sort of do want to know a little bit more about it, you know? I mean, that's Logically probably speaking, just my opinion, but... Well, I mean, that, that's because we watch um, reviews and things like that and, yeah. like, and make our purchase decisions based off of that. And now we're back to this design again. Yeah. Maybe they're all mixed up. I don't know. I don't like, know. maybe... Maybe, I don't know, maybe we're putting there's a lot of, of different bags. We're putting, a, yeah, we're putting a lot of trust into the design of this. Yeah. I mean, I still haven't had a repeat of a set. That's all I know. Okay, <sighs> well. Um, but, yeah, you're you're right, though. I mean, we, we watch our reviews and make our list of wants based off of the reviews. And the reason why is, well, there's only so much uh, extra money anyone person in the middle class has yeah. so we have to be mindful I guess open these up. Um, I think after we get all these open we'll probably pause again and see if there's anything else that we can go ahead and show you um, perhaps I'm thinking perhaps we can show you our characters if they're in those things yeah but, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm not sure so I do want to wait and Oh, that's sort of weird. There's some, like, in a... But we're still in a number here. Maybe that was the smallest thing that they could get their hands on on the cheap. Maybe. Did it say anything else? Just put them in there? Didn't say anything about the stack at the end? Mm-mm. No, just stick them in. Just stick them in. Okay. Um, what I will say, though, is this was a $70 game? Yeah, $70 okay. game. So a $70 game, that's a ton of cards for a $70 game. Plus there's all this other stuff. That we just have no that clue we, what. That we haven't even, yeah. you know, looked at. And obviously we don't want to spoil things for ourselves either. So right. I think we're going to pause and see if there's anything else that we yeah. can unbox. I would like for us to maybe be able to unbox our characters, but I want to make sure that we're able to do that first without ruining the game like yeah. right now. So we're going to do that, and um, we'll be right back on, okay? All right, so um, we have decided that we'll read the first little bit and try and get into our characters a little bit before um, we uh, let this video um, go. So if you want absolutely no spoilers whatsoever past what we have gotten to, go ahead and turn it off now and move on with life. But otherwise, here we go. All right, Arrival, story one. The immortal Forever King has selected six citizens of Gringuli to start a new village far from the Eternal City. Congratulations for being chosen. Your goal is to bring the greatest glory to the Forever Kingdom, so you may rule the village in his name. After spending all day flying over the kingdom, the Zeppelin sets down and the guards open the hatch for you and your companions. Unfold the game board uh, either side and put the objective mat and advancement mat next to the board. I believe that this is objective and I believe this other one is advancement so we just sort of put them in the front here. It didn't say which one was which on the card. I'd like to go ahead and say that. Then op uh, locate and open the chronicle rule book. Peel the sticker off the card which by the way this card is a sticker. Okay it's kind of weird but apparently that's how it works. Uh, peel the sticker off this card and affix it to the indicated space, page 6. Page 6. And, and then place the card remnant in the archive. You will do this for all story and rule cards. Okay. So do you want to go ahead and do yeah, that? Yeah, we're going right. to go ahead and do that. And then I think that we'll go ahead and do the second part too. So let's see if I can... Yeah, it just peels. That's so weird. I wondered, like, whenever I was taking them out, they felt sort of different. So, oh man. 
<laughs> well, like, I mean, have, I already, have I already gotten it crooked? I've already ruined the game. <laughs> I've ruined the game with my first sticker placement. All right, and so then it says to get card two, and I'm hoping card two is going to maybe let us pick a character, because I'd like for y'all to get to see what the little character stuff looks like. All right, well, we're going to pause it for the moment and see how that goes. Okay, so um, card number two, Scriptorium and General Supply, story two. The sun is setting as you venture outside. The location is lush landscape of rolling hills, patches of trees, and a babbling brook. The guards unload a number of mysterious crates and forget, forbid you to open any of them except for the crates. except for the one labeled scriptorium. Open it now. Here's the scriptorium. All right. The scriptorium tuck box is where you'll store global components from the game. Uh, from game to game. During the game, these global components, along with the advancement cards from the general supply, and they are all limited to 36 coins, 72 resources, 12 metal, 12 grain, 12 wood, oh, 12 clay, bags. 12 coal, and 12 pumpkin. Apparently, we're eating pumpkins. Yay! Uh, one charter stone, one progress token, and four plastic bags. Yes, we got some extra bags here. All right. Um, I was going to try to take these out so you could see them a little bit better and figure out which was which. Obviously, pumpkins. the pumpkins. Okay, um, you said coal? Yep. Okay, this has to be the coal, I'm sure. It's sort of diamondy shaped, but You're, black. There we go. Yeah. You were holding it up here. <laughs> Anyways. What else was there? What could this one have been? Iron? Clay or no. metal? Metal. Okay. There's definitely one that's clay. Okay, well. Clay. What else? Um, grain, wood. Here's the grain. This sort of looks like little... I don't know. It, it honestly looks a little bit like little uh, heads of some sort. Hmm. I guess it could be like the very tip top of the um, grain. And then you said wood? Yes. Okay, so here's the wood. Okay, and then... And then one charter stone. Okay, so is the charter stone maybe... It's the dice. Okay, the charter stone is the dice. And then one progress token. Okay, and here's the progress token. That makes sense because this little thing is the same shape as this, um, the little thing here on progress the progress bar. bar. And then I, I showed the metal tokens at first, but I'll show them again. These are actually metal, like these are metal coins. Yeah, you can shake this them. This is part of, what was, part of what was making it heavy. I'm assuming the bags, the bags could be for things that we find later. Um, or more, or maybe our inventory down the line. Yeah, perhaps. So know. we can keep track of like what's mine, what's yours. Yeah, that's what know. I'm thinking. Anyways, don't forget him. Okay, well I was thinking about leaving him out because I don't know if we'll need him right now or not. But I'll we'll just put him in the box. I don't know either. But and then it says to uh, extract card number three. Well, we also have to put story two down too because it said you'll do this for all story cards. Yep. So right, I'm going to so, go ahead and put story. And I'll read the next one. Okay. okay, so charter selection, story three. The group gathers around the large rock. You recognize it as a charter stone, uh, just like the one at the center of the Eternal City. The village is divided into six characters, each with six hexagonal plots. Okay, let's take each, a look at that real quick. Each player should... Let's take a look at that real quick. Okay. So this is the charter stone that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. And then these are two, different. three, four, five, six are yep. the different areas. And within each of those, there's like, there's little hexagons. I believe six of them, if I count correctly. Yeah, it looks like about six in each person's area. Yep. Yep. Okay, keep going. All right, so each player should now adjust their seating position to permanently select their charter. All right. 
This is the part we were wanting. <laughs> I claim your charter chest, the box with your charter emblem. The text on it will be explained later. Then open it to reveal the components. All right, and then it lists out the components. Okay, well let's hang on and pick our people. All right, so so we lady, have to we have to select wherever we're going to be sitting too. So I I'm probably going to pick one. Well, I think I'm going to pick this blue musicy notey looking one. Okay. Because blue is also my favorite color. All right. So do you mind moving so I can just see? Okay. So that's going to be the hay. This is wood. Oh. This is, I'm not quite sure. That's the cloud port. That's the uh, coal mine, I'm assuming. Well, thanks for, for thinking through things after I just picked my place already. And then, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not quite sure this one, but I'm sure, it, you know, it, it, it's There's explained. a scary forest over here, I can tell you that. All right, so what do I think that I want most? Or does it matter? I don't know. That's the fun part. So I'm going to, I'm going to get the cloud port. So? So that'll be this one right here. That's the first one. The first one. Okay. Well... Okay, so it's strapped uh, cards 200. Well, first it wants us to open these up. Okay, yeah. It? So there's two regular workers, one big and one small, one victory point token, 12 influence tokens, and that's all she wrote. So mine is blue. And mine is red. Okay. All right, so here's like this flowery looking piece. That would probably be... Our um, the, victory point token. Yeah, probably victory point. Because then there's a bunch of these little ones here. Those are the influence. Influence. And then I have one big meeple and one little meeple. Yep. Can't quite see that too well. There wow. we go. All right. So that's real. I wanted us to get to the point where we could select our characters so that you could see a little bit more, you know? Yeah. So I think that we are going to stop there with our characters selected. And we will go ahead and put down story three. And we will wait to begin our actual tell. Um, to begin our actual um, adventure. adventure. Um, it also looks too, by the way, that like the box itself is going to somehow be how we score things. How we keep up with different things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just based on what I see here. So, just, again, just wanting y'all to see a little bit more of it. That isn't, like, to me, these aren't spoilers that we've done so far. But I know that some people want a complete surprise, which is why we said, you know, if you don't want to know, don't watch. But, um... Some people want to know what they're purchasing. Yeah, you sort of want to know what you're getting into. And this, um, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but this is our first legacy game that we've ever played. Um, let's go ahead and put story three. And one thing that the gentleman told us too, because we were asking some questions about it. And, um, one thing he told us is that after you have done the game, after you've done your campaign, the game is still a game. You can still play a Catan style game is the way he described it. After you have done your, um, campaign. So that's honestly what sold it on me is that it's a standalone game after you've finished. And we love Catan, so I'm sure that um, we'd still get use out of it afterwards. And then on top of that, um, they, are, they also have, um, what did they call it, where you can buy, they can basically you rebuy the stickers. And you play the game over again, but with... The, and I'm sure the story part is probably... So, maybe it, the they same. called it like a... a refill kit? A refill or a refresh. One yeah. of the two. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a kit to where you can do it all over again without, um, you know, changing things. To, well, allowing you to change things along the way. Right. So, like, if you made a decision that later you were like... Yeah, if I ever play this game again, I don't want to do that. Well, it gives you that opportunity to change it. So, anyway, that we're going to call it good now for um, for Charterstone. 
I'm definitely intrigued though. I'm definitely um, interested to see exactly what kind of adventure this is going to be. But the storytelling element of it so far has been pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely wondering where we're going with all of this. Yeah. So um, I hope that this is going to get you to go out and purchase this game and y'all can play alongside because I'm sure we'll end up doing an episode or two from time to time. To uh, show you where we're at in our adventure. Exactly. Which story we're on. Yes. All right, well, thank you guys so much, and we will see you again next time. Bye-bye.